테스팅 테스팅 well 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 hello and uh welcome not to not tonight too it's been a it's been a strong minute and i've been waiting for the game to launch so i'm just gonna jump right in here uh difficulty is at uh medium i'm gonna be feeling um the date month and year uh, this is obviously english style uh and um i guess medium yeah that's that's a fair start i feel so <clears throat> i don't know because i i tried on the demo and it was a um, it was a pretty interesting uh expansion to not tonight obviously uh and we're gonna see how it unfolds essentially so this is starting off with the new york uh sorry the new year's eve protest at the honeybee um and this is the seattle protest uh it's so far following the demo that we've played before but i i didn't i didn't um upload it to the uh, channel as you talk to friends hey everyone you came Of course we did. We couldn't possibly think of a better way to ring in the new year. I postponed my raid for this. Sorry. Don't listen to him. We got your back, Kev. Thanks, Eduardo. Look, I made signs. How long will this take? I'll, I need to let my guild know. Um, probably. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'll get you back to your PC by 11. Is that okay, Marie? Can you name a single thing prote protesting here is going to solve? A single protest can spark a movement. There's a different protest every day and nothing's changed. You've all seen the news about the martyrs. It keeps getting worse. We have to do something. We all agree to be here, so let's get it done. It's nice to see you guys tonight anyway. Just no, I wouldn't waste New Year's Eve for anyone else. Okay. Interesting. Great. Thanks everyone. First round after the process is on me. Well, that's a, that's a good guy. You know. Spending money on his friends. Willy I wish I had that cash. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I went to. Seattle deserves better. Reclaim the USA. Dec democracy matters. Uh, this also uh, happens during an alternate timeline or a fictional timeline but it covers what was going on in the US for a while uh, all the protests and the uh, BLM uh, movement if I'm not mistaken so it's it's an interesting thing the BLM movement and uh, what happened in the few uh, few months that uh, went by in twenty twenty one, you know the last days of uh, President Trump and all of that. You wanted me out front," said uh, Martyr Number Two Hundred One. Busy day today. Our special guest is arriving," said the Martyr President. "Yes, sir." Process him like the rest. Be nice for now. We'll take it from there. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know why I said, it, said it like that. Let's check this capacity meter thingy. 201. I understand that the capacity meter requires a lot of juice, but those sparking outlets are a real fire hazard. Yes, sir. I'll find a replacement set as soon as possible. You won't have the gulag burning down on my watch. And we'll check this block A thing. At the, oh, they're checking the painting. That painting is strange. I hate it. It's staring right at me. I can look to replace it? Definitely. With something more relaxing. Relaxing? Such as an animal, perhaps? A dog? Yes, a dog painting. I'll source a replacement, sir. <laughs> what? 
why would you change the the painting though? You've had it there for a long time, I would presume. I guess it's just an eyesore. Okay, read rules. When ready, click the counter to start. So, I think I'm going to be playing um, right until the uh, demo ends so that people are as caught up. Um, basically, this is the demo all over again. So, hand me your crying sheet here. Uh, right, yep. He's a terrorist for jaywalking. That's great. Straight into block A, the gulag. But please, shut it in now. Hand me your crime sheet. Well, he's shoplifting and he's a terrorist. No, bro. You are in the wrong area. Read the letter. This is block A. You're assigned to block B. Follow the fence left. Check in with the block B guard. Out of my line, bitch. Crime machine. Yes, sir. Alright, so he's littering and he's a terrorist as well. Right in the gulag. Oh no, in you go. Crime machine, hand it over. Here it is. Oh man, bro. This is block B, bro. Follow the le Yep. You are in the wrong line, man. Why don't you read the sign, man? Uh huh. Sure. Oh, it's you protesting terrorism. <laughs> ah, Eduardo, our special guest. Good news, you've been flagged. Flagged? Flagged as a potential illegal resident. Standard procedure. We just need proof of your residency. Standard procedure? Kidnapping me? Just following the rule book. We need your passport and family tree within 30 days. Once we have that, you're a free man, and And I call my friends. They can bring them. I'm a citizen. Of course, we're monsters, not monsters. <laughs> so what now? Uh, you can stay here, locked up. Call your friends. As soon as they bring the doc those documents, you can leave. Oh, that's, that's kind of... Uh... I mean, on an ethical scale, it's not too bad because he's still giving him his his normal, his basic human rights, essentially. He still can call his friends. Got a call from Eduardo. The martyrs, they got him. What? Why? They're deterring him. They're, they're deter they, what the fuck? They're deterring him in Miami until they can confirm his citizenship. Adorador was born in the state. He's a citizen straight up. They want to see his passport and family tree. Guessing we can't just drop those in the mail and be done with it? Nope. Delivered in person within 30 days. We're screwed. Grandma has his passport in Montana. Yep. Montana is part of Canada now. I can head there. The government data is in uh, San Francisco. I, If my uncle actually texts back, I've had, I have an in. Should be able to get Eduardo's family tree pretty fast. So we're really gonna do this? We gotta move. I'll leave today. That's really great friends. Actually. If I can take your ca car, Kev. All yours. I need to get some spare cash before I leave anyway. Kevin, you can have the next two shifts here. Thanks, Kenya. I'll run mission control from here. It's 3,000 miles to Miami, and I don't trust you boys to get yourself there. I hope Eduardo's okay. He can handle himself, but we gotta hurry. Uh, I've gotta prepare for the trip. Everyone, keep in touch. So basically, this is um, this is more of an adventure type, not tonight too. Uh, and not that it's bad in any way, but... I think that it's just uh, more of uh, going to be an integrated story in a way. At order, we are on we are on our way. This was my fault, but we're gonna make it right. Traveling light would be the key. I grabbed my backpack to carry the essentials. My bouncer ID. I'm gonna need this to make cash on the road. My phone. I need this to find jobs and stay in contact with the others. I'd head east to get Eduardo's 
P passport. Sorry. Malik's on his way to San Francisco to get Eduardo's family tree. Marie would support us from here, and I was curious to see what happened to the rest of America. The news had been disturbing, to say the least. But first things first, I needed cash. I'll accept the ch shift at the honeybee on Bouncer. So, I'm gonna read the uh, news first. Seattle marked its 435th day straight of daily protests on New York's New Year's Eve. Uh, in attendance with the Alliance President Reyes calling for unity and a divided nation. We celebrate the progress made here in Seattle and across the Alliance states. To our dearly missed southern states, come home. You will be missed. The protests, however, and are as divided as the country, with everyone seemingly protesting on different cause. The overall feeling among local residents is apathy. So basically, they don't really care what's happening. Hey Kevin, all okay? Got work tonight. You heard from Malik? Yes, he seems okay so far. I'll get him to message you. Good luck, okay? Uh, seems like she kind of likes him, but I don't know. Could be, could be me just overreading the content, the subtext here. Typical night at the Honeybee. No minors. Twenty-one and over only. Hi, Kenya. Hey, Kevin. Thought you may have heard the rest. I need all the money I can get. No idea what's like out there. Then, a strange man interrupted us. His eyes piercing. His teeth British. That's a bit. That's a bit cruel, guys. You rich, Mount Baron? Not with these student loans, I'm not. Dave, I told you already. If you're in here, you stay quiet. Sorry, ignore him. He escaped England after the purge. Never been the same since. Any idea why Edward was kidnapped? I wish I knew. You know how much gas it is to Montana? These days, you'll need at least a hundred bucks. Tonight should be quiet. Check every ID. Everyone has to be over 21. I will. The more people you get in, the more you get paid. I can do that. I wish life were that simple. <laughs> okay, read the rules when ready, click the counter to start. So, again, it's just following uh, Not Tonight 1, but I think there will be more story in this than Not Tonight 1 because uh, Not Tonight 1 is more about Brexit. Uh, this is more on the happenings of uh, 20, 2016, 20, or from 2017 onward. So, you know, it's been, a, it's been a strange time, the four years of President Trump, obviously. And I'm not really American, so it's nice to see uh, what the commotion is about i mean like i've heard stories uh this is pretty good all right let's go basically if you're not uh 2000s you're fine just need to see the year yeah. it's fine it's easy to tell who's 21 now because it's like if you're two, 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 2000 you, you you're just eligible enough you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is 2001. Nope. Ah, uh, yep. You're good. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go, man. 86. Good to go. Good to go, man. Go on, go on in. I like go on in, bang. Go on in. No problem. Wow, 1977. You look good for about, I think, 40, no, 50 years old plus. Oh, 96er. A fellow 96er. Nice. Older. Yep. That's good to go. Goody goody gumdrops. 17. I think I can get 20 in the first half here. Yeah. I'm gonna max as many people. Oh, fuck you, bro. You ain't, you ain't. You ain't 21. Yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, you good? 
Alright, you good? You are good to go. No. Then why'd you hand me your ID? <laughs> Thanks. I like that we've brought uh, Sims language into 2022, man. Bo 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 bo. It's pretty, pretty, pretty funny. I think I think this is pretty easy because it's just um, the year for now. Uh, but playing the demo, I know it gets super hard. Um, so I don't know how hard it goes. I tend to like to enjoy my game, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm gonna just be playing. Uh, uh, when he first starts his journey, meaning to say, like when I'm done with um, this part, this is gonna be part one. Um, so that's for episode one, and then uh, I'm gonna be moving on to the first journey, essentially, I guess. Or I guess we could. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Oh uh, yeah, another another night of work, and I will leave. This is the mother automated threat system. Deliver Eduardo's the document called passport to location Miami within thirty days. Do not reply to this message. It's automated. See, like our guns. Bouncer shop automated message follows. New phone skins in stock. Check bouncer shop tab. Alright. Life, if this goes, I'm dead. Okay. Bouncer ID. Oh, and uh, I think we need to, like, customize our um, character at some point because he gets cold as well. I didn't just get to see my mom too. Hey, mom. Kevin, did you eat? I just came to tell you I'm leaving Seattle for a bit. I need to grab my Canadian ID. And can I borrow a car? Why are you finally getting a real job? Uh, she doesn't need to know. I didn't correct her. What was the point of a real job with what America had become? She didn't wait for an answer. She chose to lecture me again about how she didn't pay for an Ivy League education so I couldn't become a bouncer. Luckily, my mom is a great multitasker. You gain... 10 morale okay high morale gives you more time to make decisions take these so you don't get hungry received items uh, received item mom's dumpling you can exam examine items in your in inventory okay nice use I can't use it now alright no fuck me then Here's your Canadian ID. Old Canadian ID. Alright. Oh, yep. Okay. And my car keys. Don't go racing like you did in high school. My drifting days are over. Thanks, mom. I headed back to the honeybee. I wanted to say bouncer bee. My bad. On the sidewalk, I bumped into an unforgettable face with eyes that pierced into my soul or the trash can behind me. Couldn't tell. Hey, Dave. Hi, Bounce Man. You working tonight? Uh, yeah, how'd you know? His cone mate eyes a surveillance device. I know all. Whatever you say. My device, my device compels you to let me into the honeybee tonight. Uh, we'll see. I headed inside quickly. I'm back. Welcome back. You remember what to do at the door? Uh, nor miners and more people means more cash. Yep. And also check for expired IDs. One more thing. Days bend. Oh yeah, I saw him outside. Don't let him in. He thrashed the place at lunch, flipped his cone over some customer eating soup. The British hate soup that much? I guess he doesn't step foot inside. No problem. Well, I got a bad Dave. Alright, read the rules. Okay, this one is gonna have expiry, so... Let's go, go, go! Bum, 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 
bum 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 I love the music though like they have really good music and uh, not tonight I realized 89 yep oh 2020 ah oh, fuck I didn't check the expiry damn it ah forgot it sorry yep 23 it's fine Scooby doo we doo. That's good. Dave, man. Dave. Dave, man. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. That's expired. Caught it in that time. Okay, cool. Yep, that's good. 15 more for bonus 2. Ah, uh, 2022. Forget this takes place in 2021. Checking, checking all the stuff. Hello, September. Okay, five more. You're under twenty one, man. Go on, get. God damn it. You're fucking wasting my time, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think we're gonna make it. Yeah, it's, it's not possible. I don't think it's possible. At least the second bonus, you know what I'm saying? Alright, nice, got it, got it, got it. Woo! Just in time, I was really scared I wouldn't get it. 96er. 96 years old. Oh, nice. Closing time. I got six more. So that should give me a little bit more bonus to work with. So I think this is it for um, episode 1 of my gameplay. I hope I have more stuff to talk about but uh, I hope you guys enjoying the gameplay so far. It's just um, interesting to say the least to read about how people interpreted the whole um, Trump era which is uh, the first half at least of the you know Muslim ban and all that so there you go anyway you have sp inspired me I'm going on a trip sorry you didn't let me in but I get it Kenya is the boss I used to run a pub back home sorry Dave anyway you sp inspired me I'm going on a trip as well I'm going home 
Where's home? England. It can't be any worse than this. I'm heading east on the coast. On the coach to Detroit tonight. See you around? Heh, <laughs> maybe. Good luck, Dave. I headed home, Montana, tomorrow. And he slept. So I'm gonna check this out first before I end the episode. Uh, explore. I had enough cash to get to Montana. Time to go. Although working last night didn't leave much for sleep, it takes toll. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, this is it for uh, this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.